Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've had a few of you ask me what I do with my propagations since it's now fall and we're approaching winter. So I kept most of my propagations outside in a propagation box. And I do have the original video. I'll link it down below and in the top right corner. If you're interested in learning how to propagate types of plants like your Hoyas and other varieties of plants um, that like high humidity, so I'm going to start off by just showing you what I have in front of me. So this is a Hoya. It had root mealybug, I believe. So I made a cutting from it and it actually has spent all of its propagation inside of this bag. And all I do is I put this Ziploc bag around it. I have a tiny air hole right here just to allow a little bit of um, air to flow through and I basically water it once thoroughly before I put it in the bag and then after that it's receiving all of its moisture from humidity so whenever I notice that the condensation has gone down so if I'm not seeing these little droplets then I spray it with the spray bottle so I'm just gonna there is a little bit of condensation but I'll just show you exactly what I do so I'm just gonna take my spray bottle and just give it a few sprays And then I zip it back up just to allow that humidity to stay inside. And I keep a little bit of the hole. And it basically just sits in front of this southern window. It's getting mostly bright and direct light. It might get a few hours of direct sun, but it's mostly indirect since this table is a little bit lower. And that humidity is really going to help this plant develop roots. And um, the reason I like to do it this way is because if you directly water the soil each time, the plants are more prone to root rot, so it's a lot better to just create a humid environment, which is what you are essentially doing if you use a propagation box. Um, and you might be a little confused if you haven't seen my propagation box video, so I would recommend watching that before this if you are interested in propagating outside or under a grow light. The bag method works well if you're only propagating maybe a few plants at a time, and the box method works better if you have a, a bigger volume of plants. So back here I have my Hoya Australis Lisa cuttings and they were living inside of the propagation box and since they were relatively new cuttings I kept them inside of a plastic bag and I also missed them every whenever I see like no condensation on the outside of the bag that just creates a more humid environment like I mentioned before and I'll probably keep these cuttings in here all winter just to make sure that they are growing roots and um, they're receiving that bright indirect light and they're doing really well. I haven't really noticed much growth um, when it comes to leaves but that can be expected because they're mostly focusing energy on creating a root system at the moment. And then right here, this is my other Hoya Astralis Lisa. It was also living inside of the propagation box. It's actually a little bit too tall at the moment to keep inside of um, the plastic bags that I have. So I've just been experimenting and not keeping him in a humid environment. So I'm hoping that he will do well. But I did have him rooting for longer. I think he was in the propagation box for about three months. So he had a better chance of developing a root system. He hasn't continued to grow, but that's to be expected during the fall. The growing season um, has ended. So I'm really not surprised that I haven't seen any growth when it comes to new leaves, but I am assuming he is growing more roots. And as you can see here, um, I'm keeping the Hoya Australis in its original nursery pot. I noticed when I transferred the Hoya Australis, I transferred him to a terracotta pot. And for some reason, he didn't like it. Maybe the root system wasn't developed enough and maybe the pot was a little too big. So I put him back in a plastic nursery pot. The mix that it's in is very airy. It has a lot of perlite and cactus soil and some bark. And then I let it dry out completely until it's bone dry. And then once um, it's dry, then I'll thoroughly water it. Um, and he's been doing really great. So I'm gonna wait maybe until the spring to transfer him into a different pot. But I did notice that this type of plant really prefers a humid environment. I'm not sure if he'll do that great um, inside during the winter, but let's hope he does because he wasn't the cheapest cutting. <laughs> this is a little bit of a rare plant if you live in the U.S. And we're actually going to take a trip downstairs just to see the rest of my cuttings that I kept in the propagation box, so let's head on down there. So these are the other cuttings that I was keeping in the propagation box. You might notice that 
I'm missing a few in this video. We have the Hoya um, Pink Princess. I actually gave those cuttings to my sister and my best friend, I believe. And then I had some pe watermelon peperomia that just weren't growing. They didn't look very healthy, so I just tossed them since I have some adult sized watermelon peperomia. They just, I don't know, I propagated them a few months ago and they just weren't growing that well. But anyway, that's why I only have these guys left from the propagation box. They had been propagating for a few months inside of there, so all of the roots had developed enough. And as you can see, they're growing a lot and they look very happy and healthy. This guy is really pretty. Um, this is a, what is this Hoya? I'll, I'll put the name on the screen of what this guy's called. I actually forget, but he's a very slow grower and he's been doing really, really great. But yeah, all of these propagations have been doing really well. This is an Eastern window. So they're just receiving morning sun. And just like my Hoya Australis Lisa, I let the soil completely dry out until it's bone dry. And then I'll thoroughly water the plants until water runs out of the drainage holes. And I also wanted to mention, if you use the propagation box method outside, when you're bringing them in for the winter, you also have the option of putting the whole box under a grow light. And that is actually what Doug from Vermont Hoyas did. So I'll link his video down below as well if you wanna see his setup. Um, and he just grows all of his propagations in one plastic container under a grow light all winter and he does really well with that method. So it's kind of similar to growing them outside since you're keeping them in the um, propagation box. But I don't have a grow light currently so I decided to just rely on natural light and then keep the newer propagations inside of the bags so that they will develop the root system. But that's definitely an option if you have a grow light and you want to propagate more than a couple plants at a time. So I hope you find that helpful. But anyway, so if you guys have any additional questions, just leave them down below. I'd love to answer any anything that I didn't talk about in this video. And um, you can also follow me on my Instagram for more daily updates. It's Juju Succulents. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.